How's it going, everybody? I often get asked, and it's a really a big topic of conversation, the idea of fitness being important for health. Uh, there's a lot of people out there who are improving their health and feeling better, improving their quality of life, and doing all sorts of wonderful things without doing any fitness at all. And it gets really confusing a lot, a lot when I'm talking about the importance of fitness and trying to under, to get people to understand you know, that they need to be doing something physically with their bodies. They ask why. I, it, I totally get it. They changed their lives completely 100%. They feel better. They can do more. Everything is fantastic. It's sun and roses. And uh, why should I bother doing anything uh, physical to add on top of what I'm already doing with my nutrition? Okay. There's a handful of reasons. I'm going to give you five of them. Five of them, okay? Um, six of them, maybe. Yeah, we'll go over six. I've got six listed here. We'll go over six different reasons why it's important to do fitness, okay? Why it's important to improve your fitness and have fitness as part of your lifestyle and routine, okay? The first one is quality of life. Now, yes, your quality of life is improving just with your nutrition, but it's not enough to just get to that point and then be done, okay? Okay. If you want to be active, you need to physically be able to do things. And in order to physically be able to do things, you need to train and teach your body how to do that, how to be active. How do I use my muscles? How do I burn energy? How do I, um, how do I, how does my body become efficient using energy so that I can go on a hike without tiring out after the first half a mile, right? How do I teach my body how to recover after activity? So when I play with my kids, I'm not sore for the next day afterwards, okay? So your quality of life is going to improve by fixing your nutrition and improving your health. That's just, it, it, that's what happens. Your quality of life improves, okay? But in order to actually participate in life, there's a physical aspect, there's a physical activity component that needs to be included. That's one reason why fitness, uh, having a fitness routine is important for your overall health, okay? Um, second thing, longevity. In order to live longer and in order to have a quality of life that you can sustain, okay, you need to have muscle, you need to be strong, and you need to have that, uh, that the organ of life, muscle, okay, is really what we're talking about. Uh, the largest, the single biggest uh, factor that goes into elderly people having health issues and and dying is sarcopenia, the loss of lean mass. If you can fight that, the longer you can fight how you lose lean mass, the longer and the better life you're going to live. That's just how that works, okay? So that's, that's pretty straightforward, right? Quality of life and longevity, being able to sustain a good quality of life long-term, right? Um, immune system. Your immune system can be improved and will be improved by fixing your nutrition. Muscle, good cardiovascular and metabolic health, and a bunch of other factors that, that go into what happens to your body when you exercise is a huge, huge, huge factor in your immune system and your body's ability to fight infection, fight disease, fight illness, and repair and maintain its, health, its own health, right? We have a lot of things going on in our body that are designed, that are there already, okay, as a way for us to stay healthy and fight disease, right? If we're not doing things to make those systems work well, then we are compromising ourselves. Another reason why fitness, having a fitness routine is important, okay? Um, as you get older, uh, we talked, you know, about longevity, we talked about sarcopenia, but particularly as you get older, this is more of a mentality thing. When you lose muscle, when you lose strength, what happens? You lose independence. That's really what it is. When you are unable to do things on your own, you then are required to get assistance and help from other people. So this is a personal thing that you have to decide. As you get older, do you want to contribute, participate, and be part of life? Or do you want to rely on other people and be a user of a system, user of the system? Do you want help all the time or do you want to be independent and manage your own affairs, right? That's really what it comes down to. 
So when you think about fitness and what that does for your ability to be, to thrive, to have a good quality of life for as long as possible, what does that mean for your family and the things that you're going to require of them to help you with as you get older? Or can you just do things and do you want to be the person who is 80 years old, 90 years old, doing things on their own? Okay. That's a question. You got to figure that out. That's, you know, fitness plays a huge part in your ability to do that. Okay. And then there's really just the, 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 a, a huge one is the cost of being sick. The cost of being weak, the cost of not being able to do things on your own financially, literally financially, it is more expensive to be sick than to be healthy. It is more expensive to be weak than to be strong. It is more expensive to be dependent than be independent, not just from a monetary perspective, but from an emotional perspective, right? The, the lack of self-confidence that comes with being weak, the, uh, shame and embarrassment that comes from needing help all the time. There's a lot of things that people deal with emotionally that if they just worked on their fitness, not only would they gain confidence from the fact that they're overcoming challenges by doing things that are physically challenging and being successful at them, but then they build that confidence of being able to do things on their own, handle the stresses of life and uh, face whatever challenges and overcome things as things come their way. So there's a, there's a, there's a financial cost. There's an emotional cost um, to being sick and being weak. And do you want to pay that or not? Really, it's a question to ask. Okay. Um, the last thing that I want to have a conversation on is the benefits of nutrition and having a paradigm shift. And this is the really important part of this conversation. Having a paradigm shift and understanding what nutrition is really doing for you. Okay. Because nutrition is... It, I'm going to say this, and this is with a caveat, and I'm going to explain it in a second. Nutrition is not making you healthy. Nutrition is not improving your quality of life. Okay? What nutrition is doing, when you focus on your nutrition, and let's not talk about fitness right now. We're talking with just about nutrition. If you are obese, if you are unhealthy, if you have autoimmune issues, if you have um, whatever the problem may be, and you fix it with nutrition, you did not necessarily improve your quality of life compared to what normal is. You got yourself up to normal operating function. Okay? Normal. If you are unhealthy, you are operating below the line of normal human function. Okay? Think about that. If I have IBS, if I have Crohn's, if I have... Uh, eczema, acne, psoriasis, um, fibromyalgia, there's, there's a whole long list, gout, um, high blood pressure, insulin resistance, you could go down the list. All of those things are not the standard that your body wants to function at. It's below the standard. There's a baseline human function. If you have any of those issues, you are below that level of function, optimal function, okay? When you fix those, it brings you up to normal, all right? What does that mean? That means that your body, when you're healed, when you go through the healing process and you can, and you can walk in the door somewhere and say, my nutrition plan healed me, keto healed me, carnivore healed me, whatever it is, okay? That's an amazing story and that's awesome and it speaks to the power of nutrition. You are now operating at a normal level of function that your body wants to operate without external stress applied. Okay. You are operating the way your body wants to operate by you. If you were just sitting around, not doing anything and enjoying your day. Okay. Optimal, normal function without external stress. All right. That's where fitness comes in. Fitness is the improvement of your body's ability to handle stress on top of whatever health benefits, whatever position you are on the, on the nutrition spectrum and where you are in optimal health. Okay. 
there's overlap between the two, all right? You know, you can start working on your fitness before you're completely healthy, and it will help bring that, that, that bar up. You can work on your nutrition before you're completely fit, and it will help bring that bar up. They work together, but they do different things, okay? So think about this. Nutrition gets your body to its optimal operating function without external stress. Fitness gets your body to a point where it can handle external stress and thrive. Okay? That is why fitness is important. Because without fitness, there is no ability to handle stress and to grow through challenge. Okay? It's not just about six packs. It's not just about big muscles. It's about the things that we talked about. Yes. Okay. Quality of life. All right. Longevity, immune system, contributing versus relying and the cost of being sick. All of those things are factors that come into play when stress is added on your life. If you can't handle stress, then none of those other things really come, they matter. If you can't handle stress, you're not going to live long. If you can't handle stress, your immune system is going to be crap. If you can't handle stress, you're going to be dependent, right? If you can't handle stress, it's going to cost you a lot of money to, to stay alive, okay? Fitness is about handling stress and being able to thrive through stress and drive through challenges, okay? Just think about that, guys. It's a paradigm shift. It's something that we don't talk about or think about a lot, but fitness is so, so, so important to your ability to enjoy and have a good quality of life.